Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Base. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a query by using the design view. Add tables to the query design window, select fields, set up aliases, set up sorting order and provide search criteria for a query. For this, let us consider a familiar library database example. In this library database, we have stored information about books and members. And we also have a table to track the books issued to the members. Now we will create a new query to list all the books that have been issued to the members. In other words, let us generate a history of books that have been issued to the members. Let's open the library database. Let us click on the queries icon on the left panel. On the right panel, we will click on the create query in design view. We now see a new window which is also called the query design window. And we also see a small pop-up window at the top that says add table or query. Here is where we will define the source of the data for the query and we will need all the three tables for our query to generate the history of the books issued to members. We will do this by clicking on the books table in the list and then clicking on the add button on the right in the pop-up window. We will similarly add the books issued table and the members table. We now see that the three tables have appeared in the background query design window. Let us now close the pop-up window. This brings the query design window to the foreground. Notice that the three tables are in the top half of the window. Here, let us introduce some space among these tables. Let us click, drag and drop the members table to the far right. And then click, drag and drop the books issued table to the center. Now we see lines linking these tables and these are the relationships that we had established earlier. We can double click on the lines to see the relationship details. For now, let us see the bottom half of the query design window. This area has several rows of cells. As we design the query, we will fill these up. First, we will check the field column. This is for specifying the fields we need to display in the result set. To do this, we will first double click on the title field in the books table in the upper half of the window. Next is the name field in the members table and then the issue date field in the books issued table. Next, the return date, the actual return date. And finally, the checked in field. Notice these fields in the bottom half of the window in the first row. Also, the corresponding table names in the third row. Next, let us look at the alias in the second row. This is where we can enter 
descriptive names for the selected fields. So let us type in aliases as shown in the image. And we are done with the aliases. Next, let us look at the sort row. We can specify the ordering of the results set here. Since we need a history of the books issued, we will order it chronologically. Meaning, we will sort the result set by the issue date in ascending order. For this, we will click on the empty cell in the sort row under the issue date field. And let us click on ascending. OK, we will go to the next row, Visible. Here we can set the visibility of the fields we selected by checking or unchecking them. Notice that by default all of them are checked. Next, we will go to the Function row. This is used to create complex queries. We will skip this for now and we will go to the criterion row. This is where we can limit the result set to a simple or complex set of criteria. For example, we can query for those books only which were issued but have not been returned by members, meaning only those that are not checked in. So let us click on the empty cell in this row under the checked in field and type in equals zero. That's it. Let us run this query now. We can use the keyboard shortcut F5 or click on the edit menu at the top of the window and then click on run query at the bottom. Can you see some data in the upper half of the window? These are the results of your query. Notice that we see a history of books issued to members and ordered by issue date. Also notice that none of the books are checked in. Now we can go to the query design area below and change it any way we want. For example, let us remove the checked in criterion. Now let us run the query by pressing F5 again. This time we see a longer list of data returned from the query. Next, let us save this query by pressing Ctrl S. This opens a small pop-up window. Let us give a descriptive name to our query here. Let us type History of Books Issued to Members and then click on OK button and close this window. We can open this saved query by double-clicking on the query name in the main base window. So there, we have successfully created a query using the design view. Here is an assignment. Generate a list of the books issued to the member Nisha Sharma. The list should be chronological by issue date. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on creating queries in Design View in LibreOffice Base. To summarize, we learned how to create a query by using the Design View, add tables to the Query Design window, select fields, set up aliases, set up sorting order, and provide search criteria for a query. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, 
MHRD Government of India. This project is coordinated by SpokenTutorial.org. More information on the same is available at the following link. This script has been contributed by Priya Suresh, Desi Crew Solutions, and this is Soundarya, Desi Crew Solutions, signing off. Thanks for joining.